this is an example of how to process a checkbox. That's an element in a form in which the user can check or uncheck a small square um, to indicate whether or not that uh, choice applies to him or her. In the form, my form, I have created a checkbox and next to the checkbox I have some text that says send brochure and the user is supposed to check the box if in fact they want the brochure sent. Right after that I have a submit button. Uh, basically it's a regular button in which I have the value set up to be submit. It's not really an actual submit button. And then the on click attribute is assigned to the check button function. The check button function is defined up here where it should be between the head tags. And the check button function is going to refer to that checkbox element in the form. And this is how that's structured. If document dot my form dot send, which is the name of the checkbox element, dot check equals true, then we're going to set up an alert box that says we'll send it right away. Otherwise, we're going to set up an alert box which says we think you should reconsider. So the most important part of this script is right here. This is where we actually check to see whether the checkbox has been checked or not. And there is a property checked of the checkbox element. In this case, it's called send um, because that's how I named it down here, which is an element or an object of the form my form and that name has got to match up with the name my form down here. And that object belongs to this particular document. Notice that I am using a Boolean value, of, a value of either true or false, to check to see whether that button has been checked or not. If the button has been checked, it returns a value of true. If the button has not been checked, it returns a value of false. Also note that I do not need quotation marks around the word true here. What I'm going to do now is save the file and then load it into the browser. So I'm going to go to the file, save, I'm going to minimize the window, and I'm going to take uh, js15.htm. And sure enough, here comes simple checkbox processing. If I click on send brochure and click on submit, we get a response. We'll send it right away. If I unclick send brochure and click submit, we get a different response. We think you should reconsider. And that's how this script works. Again, the checked property is used for checkboxes. And as we'll see in the next session, it's also used for radio buttons as well.